Thank you very much. What's going on, everybody? I finally got my real, my IRL in real life clap track. And this is the most attractive group of clap track that I've seen in a long time. What's happening, everybody? My name is Peter Martin. This is the final shelter in place, connected in place, number 65, number 13. And uh, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I feel nervous like I was on the very first night back in March of 2020. Do we remember 2020? I know we put it behind us, but we, we, can, we can look back on it a little bit tonight uh, because it's been quite a ride that we've been on. And um, I just want to thank you guys right off the bat, so many of you, everybody for being here tonight. If this is your first time, um, I'm sorry it's the last one, but there's going to be more stuff coming up. But I know many of you been, uh, have been with me. Uh, we've been with each other for many weeks, and so I thank you guys so much for that. Um, that first tune, I went back to The Amazing Grace, and, um, you know, I'm going to play a lot of uh, my favorites tonight. I kind of decided to do that, and I hope there's some of your favorites as well, um, and uh, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about, but I'm going to try to sublimate that as much as possible and uh, just hit the music because uh, it's just such an honor to be here, and um, I'm having fun, and I got some friends in the house tonight which is always a pleasure. You're going to hear about some of them maybe a little bit later. Um, but right now I'd like to play a tune that I played several times. You know, I started out um, at the beginning of this thinking it'd be a couple of weeks, you know, like all of us did because we didn't know what was going on. And then I was like, wow, is this going to go on a couple months? Okay, well, this will be my gig of the week. And I really took it as a challenge to like learn new tunes and go back to things I hadn't played in years and that kind of stuff. And um, that kind of went morphed into months and months and so then I started repeating tunes because at first I was priding myself on not doing that but then I wanted a second shot at them and some of them I kind of took a third and fourth shot so this is definitely one of the ones I played a few times uh, but I hope you enjoy it you know Thelonious Monk's music I highlighted that for my own selfish reasons during this whole series of concerts uh, because I love his music and um, there's so much there. There's so much depth and tradition and connection. And we needed that, you know. So that spiritual connection with Thelonious Monk, I definitely felt that and uh, love him and appreciate him. So this is Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk.
wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Back to functional. That's what I'm talking about. That's Blue Monk, a deconstructed Blue Monk, as it were, uh, by Thelonious Monk. Um, next, I'd like to play um, something. This might be one of several that I play from the very first shelter in place. And um, drop something um, of interest in the chat if you'd like, if you were at shelter in place number one. Um, and just to let you guys know, also at the end of the night tonight, I'm going to stick around. And if any of you guys uh, would like to, we could just sort of chat in the chat because that's what the chat's for. I'll be here on camera. And, you know, I always hear about and a lot of times after the shows, I'll read what's left of the chat. But I miss a lot of that. And uh, my family tells me about all the great stuff being said in the chat, pick and stone, weed and wine, some of the famous people in the chat, the infamous people, um, Amy, a bunch of our friends in there, uh, what is it, uh, unadulterated audio, uh, adjusted audio, so a lot of great stuff happening in there. So tonight I thought it would be fun for the last one that I could kind of read through stuff and interact with you guys a little bit. So that'll be at the end of the night tonight. Um, <clears throat> but I'd like to play this. This is from Shelter in Place Number One. This is a tune that I wrote um, and it was really specifically about uh, Kenny Kirkland, uh, who was a hero of mine uh, and, and pretty much every pianist that's heard his music or many pianists that have heard and studied his music. But I called this before, before it's time because we lost him quite, quite some years ago, way before it was time. Um, and, uh, but I was also thinking about other folks like Chick Corea uh, that we lost recently, Ellis Marsalis, um, just a number of musicians and really just, you know, all the folks... Uh, we're looking forward now and, and um, as, as we need to, but we lost a lot of humans and a lot of souls in the world over this last 15 months. And so I just want to acknowledge them and lift up their names and, and, um, and uh, as we move on. And um, so this is called Before It's Time.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Uh, that was a little medley that became. Um, let me go back. Let me go back in time a little bit. Uh, after before it's time. Oh yeah, I did sing a song of song by Kenny Garrett, uh, which I did several times over these last 65 weeks. 65 weeks. Wow. Um, and then I did a little Kirk Franklin uh, that has been one of my uh, really uh, you know enjoyable online performances from his Tiny Desk concert. Kirk Franklin. That's Love Theory. Um, and then that was, of course, My Sharia Moore by the great, great, great Stevie Wonder, Mr. Steve Lynn Morris out of Detroit, Michigan. Give it up for him. And um, yeah, so this is the last week that we're going to be doing this. So if you haven't picked up a virtual ticket yet, that's all right. You can redeem yourself. You can, re re this is redemption time for you. You can go to petermartin.live at any point, but this is your last night to do it. So if you want to do it, pick up a virtual ticket. And um, I just appreciate your guys' support so much. We've had VIP sponsors. We've had ticket buyers. We've had sponsors. Um, we've had just, you know, a lot of love for the shelter in place program here. Um, this piano came into existence because of you guys, a lot of the equipment that we built up. We've got a lot of chapters coming uh, soon. Um, and just to tell you, I actually had this whole, do I still have it? I had a whole speech that I was going to say, but I think I'm just going to kind of, um, all right, I'm going to go through a little bit of this because I wanted to express some things. Um, so this is the last shelter in place. I'm taking a little break and, um, I'll definitely still be doing performances and different things, open studio lives things, some gigs out in the world for sure, some touring, which I'm really excited to get back to. Uh, but tonight, the chapter's ending for a little while at least. Um, and I think it's time for us to get out. It's certainly time to play in person, uh, to support local bands, to learn how to be together again and listen to music as we're doing tonight. Um, maybe even to go to a small club with bad ventilation, with a bunch of crowded... <laughs> We're gonna see how that goes. That's gonna be next level there. Um, but this has been, you know, just a, a really incredible and crazy time. And I think back to, you know, when we started this, I was like, okay, they said we needed to be locked down for like three weeks. You remember that? And it was like, you know, flatten the curve and all those things. And then it became a couple of months. And one thing that stayed constant for me was being here with you guys every Friday. And I have to say that, you know, um, as much as you might have think it brought to your lives, it brought tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold to mine to have, you know, this appointment, to have folks to stay spiritually connected with, to be able to learn how to play in this format where you're just playing to a camera and you're going on blind faith that somebody's listening, that somebody's getting something out of it. And so I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart to all of the viewers, to all the listeners and the supporters for giving me this forum and just a chance to really do my job and to, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for the comments, for the clapping emojis, you know, for when I saw you running through the park and you yelled out, enjoy shelter in place, all that stuff. It meant so much to me and, and kept me going. And, um, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of a break just to kind of figure out what the next chapter is going to be with this. Um, I know I know one thing I think for a lot of us as things open up and, and we get back to the new normal, whatever that's going to be, I for one want to make sure that I bring these things that I've learned. Um, I mean, the main thing being that every note here is important. You know, I didn't fully realize that until these last 65 weeks. It doesn't mean every note's correct. There's a lot of wrong notes, just like there's wrong notes in life, but every note's important. And so I'm gonna take that with me forward from here on out. And so I thank you guys so much for giving me an opportunity to string some notes together. So definitely be back. And with that, um, what are we doing here? Oh. So I played a lot of the music of Joe Beam um, over this past, uh, these concerts. And so it's really hard to pick out a favorite, but I think this one is the one that was really resonating with me today. So I hope you enjoy Photographia by Antonio Carlos Joe Beam.
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to do one more, and then we got a, a special treat. It's actually a surprise for me, a little video that I don't really know what it's going to be. I guess it's a special treat. It could be horrible. I don't think so. I mean, it's a special treat. Those are usually good, right? Um, but first, we just want to say big, big thanks to all of our sponsors. None of this would have been possible over these weeks without our wonderful sponsors. And tonight, we actually have some of our sponsors in the house. So I'm super excited. First of all, Dick and Marilyn Brixen are, you guys just had your 50th wedding anniversary last week, right? Congratulations. Thank you guys so much. And um, Dick and Marilyn sponsored a year ago, I can't believe it's been a year, uh, a show as well and celebrated and they've been avid uh, viewers and it means so much to me to have you guys in the house tonight. So happy 50. And I want to get some secrets and some tips and some of the secret scrolls. We'll talk about that after the show on 50 years of happy marriage. Uh, it is happy, right? Absolutely. Oh, they both said absolutely. Look at that. Look at that. That's how they do it. They're here together. Exactly. So it's an honor to have you guys here. And thank you for the sponsorship. And also my good, good friend, Mr. Ted Wheeler and American Family Insurance. And Ted is a, um, he goes beyond just a friend and a lover of the music and a benefactor and a supporter and a sponsor. Um, he's really the heart and soul uh, and one of the pillars and hearts and souls of uh, music and culture here in St. Louis. So to have him in the building is always a pleasure and an honor. So thank you for sponsoring uh, several of our shows. And also Angie Mountain, who I just learned about the last time they sponsored in conjunction with our nonprofit of the week, Pedal the Cause. Uh, uh, Angie Mountain is a wonderful furniture maker right here in St. Louis. So check them out. If you pick up a virtual ticket, you can get information about all of our sponsors and our nonprofit of the week, Pedal the Cause, who are coming back. And it's great to partner with them. Their mission is to provide critical funding for cancer research in St. Louis through their annual cycling challenge. And I can tell you that this is one of the most popular and beloved uh, nonprofits in the St. Louis area and beyond because of not just like the cool shirts and the cycling team that goes around town, kind of like, you know, bullying all the other teams because they're so good. Not only because of that, but because of the amazing work that they're doing in cancer research and all of their, their money uh, from their funding goes directly to cancer research at BJC and Siteman and some wonderful organizations here. They're doing great work. So an honor to be doing our little part with them tonight as we have during this whole time. So I'm going to play one more. Wow. It's like talk, 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 play, 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 get to the end. There's too many people to thank, so I'm just going to run through really quick here. Um, all of our VIP ticket buyers, of which we had too many to name, I apologize. You know who you are. You guys kept us going. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the virtual ticket buyers. Thank you to Cheryl Martin. Big shout out to Cheryl. Yeah. She's our piano technician. She left me a note today. She always leaves me a little note. She tuned the piano. I mean, she's probably tuned the piano well, we've done this 65 times. She's actually tuned it more than 65 times because I've had to have her in here more than once. So she's done amazing work. She was coming in when she was masked up. I was masked up. She had to come in a different door. I would leave. She would come in. And she's just uh, been a consummate professional and really the soul of bringing this instrument to life. So thank you, Cheryl. Um, Rachel Martin, my daughter, who was the original video switcher here back in the OG pandemic days when we were coming down when the city was shut down and we had special authorization. Big shout out to the city of St. Louis for giving us special authorization to let us in too. Um, but um, Rachel Martin uh, learned on the job how to do video switching. And thanks to Adam Manis who's doing it tonight, who's done it the last couple of weeks and has been the heart and soul of the audio program here, getting the audio up to an amazing level that it is. I'm not talking about the playing, I'm just talking about how it sounds. See, when you got amazing people like Cheryl and Adam around to make the sound right. This is easy. Big shout out to Dan Martin over here manning the cameras. He's manned everything. He set stuff up. He's held this whole thing together. My co-founder at Open Studio. Um, Kelly Martin, my wife, who's just my partner in everything and has encouraging words. Uh, she's actually been here for a couple of times. She's at home tonight where she likes to view this and always gives me positive and critical and important and needed feedback. I love you, Kelly. Um, now I'm going to get into a, an area where I'm, I'm missing folks, so this is not going to be good. But, oh, my guests. I haven't had a lot of guests, but they've all been dope, and they've all been, you know, uh, not only amazing musicians, but, but great friends and, and wonderful people doing amazing things during the pandemic as well. First of all, Romero Lubombo, who has joined me in studio, he's the only 
one who actually flew in and got on an airplane and um, came to play. And so, you know, I mentioned him first. Romero is just, he's one of the most amazing guitarists on the planet. And um, I'm lucky to call him a friend and, and played with him, worked with him, recorded with him for years. Uh, but he was my guest. And he was actually my guest before that. He was my virtual guest uh, when we recorded some stuff and did it live kind of together with latency and all that kind of thing. Um, Brian Owens, uh, who sang several times with me right here, uh, I think he was my first live guest in the studio, so big shout out to Brian. Bob Dubu, who uh, played with me at the one-year anniversary, a duo gig that was so fun. And then Montez Coleman, uh, the amazing drummer out of East St. Louis that, it, that we are so lucky to have in town here. We did a trio gig, Bob and me. Uh, and then Emmett Cohen, who was kind of a surprise guest on the one sh uh, shelter in place that was not in the studio when it was in New York City about, what was that, about a month ago when I was up there and I couldn't get back to St. Louis to get a flight back. And so Emmett was uh, gracious enough to uh, offer his studio, which is actually his apartment, uh, on the fifth floor walk up. Glad I didn't play bass for that one um, in New York City, up in uptown in Harlem. And he offered his piano and his video guy and everything. And so I played and I noticed about halfway through the show, you know, when I came in, Emmett was in shorts and he was like, man, whatever you want. He was so gracious. And then I, I'm playing some, I'm, you know, doing my thing. And then I kind of looked up and he had changed clothes. Like he put on some nice clothes and had like a scarf on. And I was like, hmm, I wonder, maybe he's going out, you know, whatever. And then he's sort of hovering around. And so we got to the last tune and, and I was like, maybe you'd like to play. And so I was like, Emmett, would you um, like to join me for a tune? He's like, absolutely. And he came right on. And so he was a guest and we had so much fun. I'm so glad he did it. Uh, we, we had a lot of fun playing um, Blue Monk. So that was the other guest. I hope I didn't leave anybody. Did I forget anybody for guests? That was all the guests. If I did, I'm, I'm sorry. My parents, Bill and Rose Martin, they were actually the first audience members uh, in here uh, that, that came many months ago. And then they told me they preferred watching it on television. So they've been watching it there ever since. <laughs> No, that's only, that's only partly true. They've been here several times, uh, but they're my biggest fans and my first teachers and um, wonderful folks. Um, Daniel Martin, my son, who actually did some video switching and actually played with me on a private show that we did here. Um, and um, yeah, A&E, Arts and Education, the building who let us continue to operate. That's our landlords who are here, uh, Cindy and the gang. They let us operate continually throughout the pandemic and kept the building open for us. And um, I think that's about it. That is about it. So I'm going to play one more tune. My shirt? Oh, shirts, right. I was like, what, is my shirt sweaty? I know it probably is sweaty. Oh, yeah, shirts. Oh, yeah. So we have, we were thinking of, you know, we wanted to put something together to kind of commemorate um, the, the, this, this virtual concert series. And I was thinking something that was a physical item would be good. And Dan came up with some great ideas and we have for offer. And you know what we're going to do? I'm going to call an audible here. We are selling coffee mugs and t-shirts, but all of the proceeds from these tonight are going to go to pedal the cause. Okay. So what we're going to do is if you go, I think there's a link in the description. You can do this. You don't have to rush and go do this right now. You can do this. We'll, we'll keep it up for a while. But um, Dan put together some great little commemorative coffee mugs with, Possibly a picture of me. That might ruin it, actually. We'll have to, I'll have to look at that. Uh, I might not be picking that one up. But if you're into that kind of thing, and then the T-shirts are really cool because I believe we have every single song written on the back. Instead of like, you know, normally it's a tour where it'll be like St. Louis, Chicago, Topeka, Milan, you know, Bratislava, you know. And, but this is just like St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis, St. Louis, 65. <laughs> New York, one show. No, but we didn't do that. So we put every single song that I played on there. Um, so that's a little t-shirt you can pick up and that's available at the link below. How'd I do? Yeah. Was that okay? All right. So I got one more tune. <laughs> I got one more tune. I'm going to do Cuba, Cuba, New Orleans, because I actually got three requests for this today via text message. So I was like, that's, that's a signal. Uh, this is Garage's Parish. And, um, thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody here. Thank you far and wide. I love you dearly. Stay tuned. I'm going to be taking just a little bit of time off and then um, kind of thinking about the next chapter. And you know what I was thinking, too, is like we talk about the, the, the new normal and everything. And I don't know about you guys, but like I want the new normal to count. I want it to matter. So that's what I'm going to be thinking of these coming weeks or however long it is. And we're going to come back with something 
And um, but as we get back to the normal, let's not just go back to the way things were before, unless you had a perfect life. Marty, you probably had a perfect wife. Oh, perfect life. You have a perfect wife, so you have, probably have a perfect life. <laughs> but if you're not like Marty, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I'm joking with Marty. It's my, I'm so excited to see you in real life. No, the thing is, is like, let's all think about maybe instead of going back to the new normal, let's go back to the way we want things to be. This is an opportunity to do that. All right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, the sourdough bread didn't work out, but we can, we can get some other stuff going, right? Why not? All right, thank you guys so much. I love you. So right after this song, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a video. Please stick around for that. And then I'm going to stay here. But wait, we have more. I'm going to be here, and I'm going to be like on screen, and you guys are going to be um, chatting and stuff. And I'm going to get my computer and actually get to read the chat, which I never get to do. So I'm super excited about that. So please stick around if you can. Thank you, guys.
you can make a real difference in the fight against cancer. Ride, spin, or join the cause from home. Together, we're fueling the innovative cancer research, saving lives in St. Louis and beyond. Hi, my name is Ted Wheeler with American Family Insurance, the Ted Wheeler Agency. We are the proud, one of the proud sponsors for this evening's concert. Uh, Peter, I'd like to tell you, thank you personally from the bottom of my heart. Uh, our friendship, uh, notwithstanding, the 15 or 16 months that you've been taking care of folks every Friday night, we're so thankful. And um, again, our friendship, notwithstanding, the music's been uh, spectacular. And uh, it's kept me sane, and I'm, I think it's probably kept others sane as well. Um, tonight's not-for-profit recipient uh, is Pedal the Cause, which I happen to be uh, um, a thankful board member. Um, so any proceeds from tonight's concert uh, go to Pedal. I'd like to tell the people at Pedal, thank you for letting me be a board member. And to all you fathers out there, happy Father's Day. And to my dad, happy Father's Day. gift of your beautiful music every Friday for the last year. Yeah. Yeah, through a whole year, man. Thank you for the weekly inspiration. Peter Martin, Peter Martin, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Peter. Best wishes from Scotland been following your uh, weekly solo performances from the start and restreaming on um, on uh, Jazz Stream Sessions Facebook group every week. Um, lots of great responses. Um, been inspired to join up with some of the classes from the Open Studio and uh, I think you've made a bit difference to all our um, lock-in nights. Uh, I'm just wishing you all the best. Uh, it was nice to talk to you one night in the green room and uh, hopefully one day maybe get over to see you uh, live. Anyway, all the best. Hey Peter. Hey Open Studio. Uh, Paul Nelson here and my wife Rose would just like to uh, thank you for the uh, Friday nights. You've become a part of our Friday night. Uh, the concerts have been so enjoyable. Um, you've even played uh, When I Fall in Love, which was our wedding song, so scored some points with the wife. Um, and it's a bit bittersweet. We're going to miss you, miss the concerts, but we're moving on, and I think this is a good thing. We're getting back to normal, and we'll just have to come see you live. So until then, peace, piano. Hey Peter! <laughs> Congratulations for a year and a half of incredible music and it was wonderful to have you in this very difficult year for everybody. Your music was wonderful, your picture better yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, shoes and socks! Shoes and socks. <laughs> We, yeah, and the gang, just knowing that the same gang was going to be there, you meet up with your friends. Yes, that was wonderful. And good luck with everything now in the near future. And I hope I can talk talk to you and play with you very soon, okay? Many kisses! Ciao! Ciao! Hey, Peter Martin, my other brother. Can't thank you enough for such a wonderful, entertaining, educational year. Friday nights, I could hardly wait. I learned so much from you this year and from your audience who are pretty smart apparently. It was wonderful and I thank your entire family for sharing you with us. Bye bye. Hi Peter, thank you so much for your music this year. Between you and Mother Nature, you really kept me going. All the best to you as you move forward. Bye-bye. Peter Martin, greetings from the West Coast. This is Peter Sprague. And I know this is your last show of live 
in place or shelter in place, I think it's called. And I want to wish you the best and you've kept the general populace well nourished with beautiful jazz notes during the pandemic and that's a good feat. So many thanks, hope to see you soon. All the best. Hey Peter, just wanted to really say thank you from myself and my husband David for all the music during the pandemic. It's made a, a real difference and helped us to get through all these scary times. We're going to miss you on Friday nights, uh, but look forward to seeing you live sometime if you make it through to the UK or maybe we'll come and see you in St. Louis. So yeah, peace, piano. Thanks for everything. Hi, Peter. Congratulations on your amazing run. Um, you got us through the pandemic. Uh, it was so amazing to hear you uh, every Friday. I was there most Fridays. I missed a couple, but uh, I think I made most of them. And uh, amazing quality every week, amazing shows. And uh, it was just so inspiring. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing you live sometime soon in New York or somewhere else. And um, all the best to you. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, Peter. Just wanted to send a big thank you from the Ryan family for helping us shelter in place for the past year and connect in place. We couldn't have made it through without you and the fabulous Friday evenings that we shared together. So thank you again. Wishing you all the best. I hope to see you live in person on a stage sometime soon. Take care. I remember when Shelter in Place first started, I thought there was no way that we would get past five weeks. So I can't believe that we've made it this long. You definitely deserve a break at this point, but I've loved the journey that we've been on with it. Congratulations. Hi, Peter. I just wanted to say thank you for the shelter and thank you for the connection and thank you for the community. I have really treasured my Friday night since last March, and it's been a real honor and pleasure getting to know you and your music, being part of the Peter Martin community, uh, but it's definitely time to get out there. So I look forward to hearing you live in person in an actual room and hope to keep the connection. So thank you again for everything and congratulations on an amazing achievement. Thanks, Peter. Hey, Peter, Emmett Cohen here. I just wanted to congratulate you on all your success and all those shelter in places you did. They made such a big impact in the world and helped so many through such a tough time and inspired so many like myself uh, to up my streaming game and, and, and to keep doing this and keep steady and consistent. Uh, you've been an inspiration to so many. So thank you and thank Open Studio. Peace. Hi, Peter. Tom Seiler here. Just wanted to give you a shout out for all the wonderful entertainment you've been giving us throughout the pandemic, from your wonderful photo montages at the beginning of your programs to all of your beautiful playing. Thank you so much for helping us through the pandemic, and we look forward to seeing you live. Peter, thank you so, so much for Shelter in Place. I don't know if you realize what an impact it's had on people during this really difficult time. I know in our house here, it's been a ritual on Friday night to have some dinner and then gather around the TV and watch your concert. And uh, it's just been so nice to have a place of community and of hope and of beauty. And you, your playing is inspirational and your spirit is infectious. And uh, I know I speak for everybody here in my family when I said, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of that during this time. Peace. It was sure worth staying up for. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Hello, Peter, Dad. It is your daughter, Rachel. Um, just here to say a quick thank you for the Shelter in Place concerts and for employing me during the pandemic. That was really nice of you. Um, but yeah, congrats on all of the shows. They were great, and I'm glad that you were able to do them. Peter, I just want to give you and your team a big thank you for putting on an incredible piano solo series that we can go back and listen to and also us piano students can go back and study. It's been really fun getting to know some of the musicians such as Romero and Helio and also getting to hang with the great VIP community. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Hey Peter, thank you so much for all the music this year. Love you from Tacoma Park, Maryland. Thank you. Hey Peter, I just wanted to tell you how much your Shelter in Place concerts meant to me this last year. Um, not only were they enjoyable, but they really reminded me the kinds of connections and solace that you can get through music. Um, and it couldn't have come at a better time. So thank you so much for this wonderful gift. Congrats, Peter. You hit number 300. What's that? 65. Still pretty good. 65. So the big question is, what are you going to be doing on Friday nights? So I asked a few friends that I've made over the last 18 months. Hey Alexa, what should Peter do on Friday nights? Hmm, I don't know that one. Hey Google, what should Peter do on Friday nights? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. So there you have it. Guess you're stuck with us. See you next Friday. With much love and gratitude, Peter, thank you for the 65 Shelter in Place concerts. Really enjoyed listening to you play and enjoyed watching the concerts with our son. I really appreciate all that you've given to the community during this time because it really was a gift. So we appreciate you, we love you, and looking forward to having family dinners on Fridays now. Take care. Wow. All right. That was that was one of those good kind of surprises. Thank you guys so much. That's um, I'm totally overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> so thanks. Um, let me grab that one, Adam, and then I'm going to read. I'm so excited to read the chat because I haven't seen that. You know, have you guys seen the chat? Yeah. No, not tonight. I know. That's what I know you're going to see tonight. You're here in person. No, I'm just saying in, in general. Like, I'm always like, I mean, what happened was one time, uh, like, I, I, we had another screen set up, like this one, and I had the chat, but it was just so, like, I'm playing and I'm looking at it. I was like, oh, oh, it's, you know, I was just so distracting in a good way for my entertainment, but in a bad way for, like, keeping up with the music, and then I'm playing solo piano and stuff. So anyway, I thought I would just jump in and uh, see what's happening. Okay, weed, weed and wine gets a lot of, I hear a lot about weed and wine. Um, so excited to see weed and wine, what, what he or she, I'm always interested in folks that are like Donna and Tim, we kind of know who they are. Weed and wine is a little bit like, you know, a little bit under the radar. Um, what's up, Ezra? Ezra says, thanks, Peter. Cheryl, I'm so excited that you're here, Cheryl. This is uh, sh the famous, the wonderful Cheryl um, Martin, uh, my piano technician here who's done amazing things, who's in the house. I appreciate it. What's up, Elio? What's up? Oh, everybody say what's up. Sing, Peter, sing. You don't want to hear that. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to look and see. Is this like a questions thing? No. Nope. Oh, I, I have to ask for questions. Okay. Do you have any questions? <laughs> is there anything? Is there anything? Um, no, nobody has questions. I know. This is like, exactly. It's like, he said, Adam says it's like week number one uh, all over again. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for your wonderful children. Yes, they are. Kelly is wonderful. Isn't Kelly wonderful? We say that a lot. Um, Tim says Peter's tribute to Chick Corea was, was really beautiful also. You know, um, Chick Corea, we're, we're talking about him all the time as, as we would even before we, we lost him. But I, I told somebody the other day, I was like, you know, I don't think there's a day goes by that I don't think about Chick Corea or like just think about something he played or something that he said or just like his smile. But oftentimes it's just like a line that he plays or some little nerdy piano thing that he played. And um, it's not, I mean, yeah, it's because I'm a, jazz pianist that loves Chick Corea, but I think there's a lot of people like that with Chick Corea, and what a thing to put out into the world such beauty that um, when you're thought of or something that you've played or created is thought of puts a smile on somebody's face. So thank you, Chick Corea, for, sh for sure. Thank you so much. Um, 
Tim, I'm Irish, but I live in France. Oh, look, big shout out to everybody. I should have said this before. Big shout out to everybody that is further east than uh, New York City time zone and or further west than the West Coast. I'm talking about people that stayed up late many, many times to watch this like in Europe. Um, Jan, what's up, Jan? I know she's in UK and it's like, what is it, like three o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. Tim is in France and... Um, he says he's been following me the whole time. Thanks, Peter, for everything you've done, brother. You and Dave Weckl lives kept me going during the pandemic. I didn't even know about Dave Weckl's life. Actually, no, I saw one of them, I remember. Uh, one of the things with doing this and just kind of having some interesting things to do during this time is um, if there's any other things happening on Friday night, I'm going to have a chance at least for the next few weeks to be able to check those out. So that'll be fun, you know. But there's so much stuff I hear about I just haven't had a ch chance to check out. I hope it's still happening or um, archived or something. Okay, I'm reading. Uh, thinking of Chick Corea centers me when I play. He had such joy. Right, exactly. I mean, you know, that's just sort of a – everybody gets different things from – Chick Corea and kind of has their favorite tunes or concerts or memories. Um, but joy is always a word that, you know, we, we I'm constantly hearing over and over again. So there you go. All right. I'm going to scroll back a little bit. Uh, Joe Cador says, thanks for all the Friday concerts, Peter. Un abrazo de si de Puerto Rico. All right. Muy bueno. Muy, muy bien. Sorry. Horrible Spanish. What's up, Romero? Uh, good to see you. Romero Lubombo is not only is he a friend and a fantastic musician, but he is a stalwart of coming to this show. I kept telling him, I'm like, dude, you've heard me play a lot before, but he's been here um, just about every week. So I really appreciate that. Um, Rob Endicott. What's up, Rob? Rob's been here a whole lot, too, saying, do I have gigs coming up? I got a couple gigs. Yeah, and I should have mentioned, I'm, we, I, actually, we just put a few gigs up on my website, which is petermartinmusic.com slash live. I hadn't even gone to that page in so long because there was no reason to go there. It's like, you know, it, one thing that happened funny last year, at first it was like gigs got postponed, and then it was like tentative, and then you started using pencil instead of pen. It's like, well... By September, maybe this gig will happen. And then the whole year was just like, there's not going to be anything. And so we all sort of started out this year not even putting stuff in pencil, just not even putting it down. So if you go to petermartinmusic.com slash live, there's a couple of confirmed gigs on there, and there will be more added, God willing. Um, but we don't really put them up there until they're confirmed. So there's some other stuff that's happening. It just isn't totally confirmed yet. Um, what's up, Italy, Italia? Wow, I would love to be there. Glad to be here, though, but would love to be there. Um, what's interesting, because I haven't been in the chat, my skills in the chat are not as great as I was hoping. That's one thing. It takes skills to kind of look through. It's going from Bogota, Colombia. What's up, Alvaro? Um, thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias to you. Um, Love from Greece, 4.38 a.m. here in Zero Regrets. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've been to Greece like maybe three or four times, maybe five times over the years, and maybe even a couple more. I remember first going in 1991 with Betty Carter, and I was like, my father actually had gone on tour there with the St. Louis Symphony when I was super young, and I remember him coming back with pictures, like, you know, square, the kind you had to go to Walgreens to get developed, you know, and... Um, he, uh, I remember seeing pictures of like the Acropolis and him and my mom. There. Wait, who was taking care of me? We were really young. My mom went too. I just realized that. I think we were home alone. That was like a 70s situation, you know. I think we were home alone. Um, anyway, I was six and my sister was nine. Was that legal to leave us? No, that was. Oh, anyway, now I'm really exposing them. But um, anyway, they, he brought back pictures of Greece. They brought back pictures and it was such, I was just like, wow. That's like another, another planet or something. And then when I first got a chance to go in 1991 with Betty Carter, it's like I had that same sort of sense of wonderment. I mean, it was just, and every time I've been, I mean, it's just such a, I never take that for granted for sure. Uh, Peak, Peak Skill, New York loves you. Thank you. I love Peak Skill. Brazil, what's up, Mauricio? Man, I cannot wait to get, get back to Brazil. That's said everybody that ever went there, basically. 
Uh, hi to Martin and Jan, his lovely wife in your audience. Hi to Martin and Jan. That's Jay Daly. Maybe your kinfolk. I don't know. Um, thanks a lot to all the music, Peter, and all the Open Studio team. Yes, big shout out to the entire Open Studio team. Dan, um, Adam, Rachel, Ian, uh, Andrew, Sam, Jill, Brian, who am I forgetting, Dan? Uh, to everybody, like n none of this would have, and Max, of course, Max. Um, the entire team has been doing amazing things pre-pandemic, but especially during the pandemic and after. I mean, people have been working from home, working from other states, working from other countries and stuff. Yeah, Max is Max is the Max Gamiz is the one who's transcribed a number of these performances, a number of Adams things, um, all the our new Fred Hirsch course. He transcribed everything. He's doing amazing work. So, um, um, Jeff Keezer, yeah, that was so cool to see that the, you guys didn't get to hear it like I did. The Jeff Keezer and his lovely wife and adorable little boy sang for me a song with my. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to be going back to watch that. Um, hi from Paris. Congrats for all that you do. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was Keezer. Ka Kali was asking about that. Um, don't date yourself, Pete. That's what Ezra said. That's my nephew. Watch it, buddy. Watch it. I know when you were born, too. I know when you were born. <laughs> can't wait to see you in North Carolina. Absolutely. I can't wait to uh, get back to the Triangle area. Where Okay, Ranchu is in Tokyo. So, you know, actually, so Tokyo, we've, we've got a... A nice contingent that's always been watching in Japan, and it's like um, it's not the middle of the night, but it starts really early. I want to say it's like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. when we do that. So big shout out to everybody that watched live. Like that's actually when um, I first learned that like doing this kind of thing, and this is something that I'm really going to take with me for the, for the next chapter uh, of, of whatever we do with this is that um, experiencing something live with people. We already knew what that meant at a concert you know the communal feeling um of musicians and audience and when i was younger i didn't totally understand that i remember older musicians talking about you know the energy you get from the audience and i was like what now nah, you're just old you know and um i was like you know we give we bring the fire we bring the energy i was young and dumb you know and um so but then as i started to get less young and let le less dumb and really open myself up to that, I, I started to learn about that energy from the audience. And what happened was, you know, g really great audiences, it was so much easier to play with a great audience because that energy came to you. And so even if the audience wasn't that great, you, you could still, I still felt like responsible to play as great, good as I could. And I felt like, I, you know, we, we try to bring the fire no matter what, but I would always be more tired at a gig when it was kind of a lame audience. Um, so like, that's when I started to kind of understand and appreciate that. So when we started doing this in terms of like, there is no audience there that's physically with you, you're streaming and there's an audience out there, but you can't see them. Um, you can't feel them. So I had a lot of trouble at the beginning, just trying to get that energy. I, I could still knew what I wanted to do musically, but I had to sort of just put all that energy up myself. So what you guys taught me was that being there live, like I had to use my imagination and then like, you know, take the messages that I would hear and the feedback and seeing the chat and running, running into people and getting text messages and hold on to that and use that energy for the next time I was playing. And so for you guys to show up in the middle of the night, uh, you know, I remember when people first started saying like, oh, I stayed up and watched, it was three in the morning. I remember thinking, wow, you, you know that we leave it up on YouTube. You can just watch it when you get up. You know? But I didn't want to say that because I was like, that's so cool. Maybe they think you know, it's going to expire or something. You know? um, but then I realized like, it really does matter to experience something live, and to, especially this music, jazz music. It's, like, it's magical live, and I think in the online format, it's the same thing. And so I found myself um, you know, watching things, different artists that I like, different things. Like I'll watch Adam does a... Uh, uh, twice a week he does a great tutorial uh, on Open Studios YouTube channel and like a lot of times I'm looking at the time that at that day I'm like wait what time is it start so it's two o'clock I gotta make sure and watch and then I'm like why I can watch this whenever I can watch this when I got nothing to do and plus I can just call him and ask him what is he gonna do but it's something just exciting about seeing something as it unfolds and knowing that it's happening at that time so um, thank you guys so much for teaching me that and and I'm gonna hold on to that for sure as we develop whatever this is gonna be, you know, for the next thing. So 
Thank you guys for staying up is what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, oh, yeah, Donna says having the videos to watch is great, but it's totally not like watching it live. It's felt so interactive, quite amazing for Peter to achieve that. Yeah, and you know what? A lot of it, too, is, although like I was saying, I don't see a lot of the chat in real time. I do see the comments and stuff later. But I think this element, being able to talk with each other as something is happening is really important because I remember being like, you know, going to hear music in New York, some amazing, you know, I mean, it could be anywhere. I'm just thinking about New York now, like certain jazz clubs. And like a lot of times musicians, we're kind of slip in the back and we're, you know, like at the Vanguard, we're back by the bar, not because that's where the drinks are, just because that's where they make us go because we didn't pay to get in, but we're back and the drinks are there, but we're back there, you know, and we're, and something you know, great happens on stage and we're like, whoa, you know, like, we're like, man, did you hear that? Like just little things that you can say and communicate. And I know it's a listening room and you're not supposed to say anything and you're supposed to be quiet, but it is fun to be able to like have that rapport. And so I think um, with this format, it's been kind of fun. I think people have, you, you know, been enjoying being able to talk with each other and meet and then, you know, kind of compare notes and that kind of thing. So that would be a kind of cool thing to bring along as we go, go back to live. I don't know how, exactly how that'll happen, but I think it can. Thanks, Peter, from Boleland, Malaysia. Malaysia is in the house. Rob says, you caused my mom uh, at 93 to get her piano tuned and start playing again. That alone is worth the concerts to me. Oh, that's awesome. Tell mom I said, what's up? Um, I remember meeting her over Zoom, I believe, uh, early on, which was super cool. Um, all right, Anne's going, to, Anne's going to bed. It's 4.30 in the morning. Good night, Anne. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'm going to just save all these comments and cherish them. Uh, live on YouTube, you still get the feeling like it's slow delivery. That's Tour Talk. Tour Talk has always got the, got, got the right um, comment and opinion happening. Hit that like button on YouTube, everyone. I didn't say that. Steven said that. Wait, let me see if I can hit the like button. Can I hit the like button on our own video? Is that self-serving? <laughs> Weed and Wine says, a few times when I missed it live, when I had to watch the replay, I missed chatting with everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that that's, you know, experiencing these things communally, especially after we've had so much time, you know, stuck apart anyway. Is And, you know, another thing that I'm really appreciative about this has been, um, you know, after touring for so many years, uh, I love touring and I can't wait to get back to doing because I love traveling and I love playing music for people. Um, but the ability to reach people simultaneously in so many different places is just un unparalleled. And I never really, you know, we've done some experiments with streaming here at Open Studio, actually even pre-pandemic, not some experiments. We did some concerts here, um, just kind of not knowing what we were going to use it for, but just to try it out. And I think that because of what we do on the educational side, uh, with Open Studio, it was really built on the foundation that the online platform was the perfect place for artists to be able to reach, you know, artists that are really not only great players, but really thought leaders um, in what they do as far as other people on their instrument following them and wanting to know, wanting to learn from them and wanting to study from them. But then most of these artists don't have time to teach hardly at all and certainly not teach all the folks that would be interested in it. So that was really the, the genesis of open studio was about being able to open that up, that knowledge base to more people, no matter where you were. And so we've been able to reach folks all around the world simultaneously, both on live tutorials and also through our recorded course in a way that I think is really important and game changing. And so what I'm starting to see here now with this 65 week uh, fun experiment is the ability to do that from the performance standpoint in a way that you never can do. You can do a touring, but it's just a lot of airline flights and a lot of frequent flyer miles. That's nice, you know, but um, it's been really fun to, to just to learn about that. Come to the Schnitzer Concert Hall in Portland. Beautiful with great acoustics. I'm sure they'll score a Bosendorfer for you or a very nice Steinway. Yes, I'm still officially a Steinway artist, so it's a little bit of a toughy touchy subject but it's all good i'd love to come to portland um i've been to the schnitzer i've played in the schnitzer concert hall i used to eat wiener schnitzel but not in portland not doing that anymore but i will definitely come back to the hall yeah portland is 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 fantastic that's that's a great music town with great audiences um norico p 
Peter, thank you so much. You never know how much this was inspiring, encouraging for me. I'll see you in New York City. I will see you in New York City, and thank you. And just know that as encouraging and as inspiring it may have been to you, it was equally so, if not way more, for me. I mean, you guys really inspired me to have something to do on Fridays and to be of service and, and really to, to, to do my job, as they say. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please record a solo album or CD. I will. There. Asked and answered. Um, I love the emojis. I love emojis. Um, yes, a quiet Bosendorfer on Friday night is a terrible thing to waste. I'm going to be back. I'll be back on Friday or some night. It's all coming back. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the chat. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the live audience. Thank you to the sponsors. Thank you, everybody. It's not goodbye. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and piano.